Oh man, so another good day here for Bitcoin up 3% sitting at 41,600. What does this mean for Phantom? Are we hovering around here or do we finally have the uh, permission to start exploding back towards $3? I've seen something, an interesting statistic slash indicator, which gives us the conclusion that perhaps we could be heading back to 50,000 very shortly. So stay tuned for this video. Uh, we got a lot to share with you guys in this one. So make sure you're sitting comfortably, you've hit the like button, you've subscribed, and let's get straight into the Bitcoin chart. But before we do that, guys, make sure you check out link in description. NordVPN have been kind enough to support this community by offering you guys 70% off a 24 month plan plus one month for free. So if you haven't set up a VPN and you're playing around in crypto, you're staking, you're yield farming, you're playing around with NFTs or, you know, in the metaverse and you haven't got yourself anonymous and safe out there so that you can't be tracked, make sure you get yourself set up, guys. It's not worth the risk when you're playing with that much money in crypto. Right, what are we seeing here in the Bitcoin chart? Well, first and foremost, guys, we can see here, obviously, we had a humongous day yesterday. And the amazing thing from today, really, on a weekend, is that we've just managed to hold that level. And that is an achievement in itself. So you can see here, we had a big move by Bitcoin to the upside. And now we've just going, having a bit of consolidation, potentially a bull flag to con as a continuation pattern to the upside. Now, remember, how we're expecting to for us to move up to here to 43 as the next price target. But you can see we're consolidated at an important level, which is the this line here, which we've had drawn the yellow line, which is the 41,659 level. OK, you can see that there. That's the level we need to be holding right now. And you can see this is an important level which has been used as support plenty of times, and it's going to act as resistance as well, okay? So we need to keep an eye on that. We need to build um, some momentum above it, retest, and then head higher towards 43 here on Bitcoin. So you can see here on the hourly, things are looking super good here for Bitcoin. We're bullish on our, on our hourly. On our four hourly, equally, we are nice and bullish here. Uh, good extension on our EMA ribbon. If we move to the daily, we're just trying to close uh, above our EMA ribbon, but we have got some work to do. The 43 line, which is so critical you can see from this white line i've just selected there if we meet that price target at 43 and close above it we would then flip our daily on bitcoin bullish and that would be a really huge move because historically anytime we've managed to close our ema back bullish we get an explosive move to the upside so that's going to be an exciting thing to look out for on the upside and a lot of things are supporting this right now you can see obviously bitcoin up three percent and some of the altcoins now starting to move with bitcoin but dominance continues to be in bitcoin's favor and if we flick on over to the bitcoin dominance you can see as dominance starts to climb if i just head over here to the hourly so you can see the movements in dominance one second there you go you can see that as bitcoin rose the dominance rose in a similar pattern just a slight tracement down and then a move again which is showing that money is flowing into bitcoin right now because you've had a nervy market uh, bitcoin is now moving powerfully and the altcoins will catch up with it over time as bitcoin starts to stabilize starts to work its way back to 50 you'll see some of your favorite altcoins and the solid projects really start to get moving and that's where we're going to talk about phantom because we know we've been following phantom for a while now phantom's at this again this critical support here at 208 which is a very important level phantom likes to chill around this level so it's a comfortable level you've got a lot of um parity in the market here between bulls and bears and phantom is comfortable just chilling at this level for quite a bit before its next move uh, which hopefully is to the upside as bitcoin starts to stretch its legs and that is why it's important that right now you don't expect too much of your favorite coins. Remember, there's a lot of bargains out there right now that people are looking for. There are a lot of coins, such as Solana, such as Cardano, Chainlink, which we covered earlier on today, Matic, um, you know, Polkadot, which for whatever reason, Koti, another great project, which have just been bleeding and are super undervalued. And I still conclude that in the long run, Phantom is super undervalued. But remember, we did have a good run on Phantom and we did have not as bad a retracement. Yes, we're 40% down from highs, but some coins at their lowest were about 80% retracement. So the dips on those are going to be bought up first until the market gets to parity. And then we'll see the survival of the fittest, which coins can stand alone, which coins do people really want to be in for the next bull run as Bitcoin goes to 69,000 and hopefully beyond, which coins do people want to be transitioned into? And that's where my conviction, my conviction is not financial advice for you guys, sits with Phantom because I see it as a top layer one platform. Not only do I believe in the layer one narrative as a whole, but I know Phantom has that arbitrage in that it's super undervalued given the total value locked, given the, the fundamentals of the project in its scalability, decentralization, and security. They've solved that solved that trilemma. They've got a good team and they're working at a fast pace, right? So that's, that's why I continue to be bullish in Phantom. Now, 
That doesn't mean that this is the only thing in my layer one portfolio. I have a number of layer one solutions in my portfolio allocated to the layer one narrative. And I suggest, again, not financial advice, that you guys do the same. It's not just about, I've thrown all my money into Phantom. I just need this to go to the moon. If you're investing like that, that is not investing. That is gambling, guys. Breaking news, that is gambling. And if you're going to do that, you're in for a whole lot of hurt unless you hit the home run and get lucky, in which case you're going to try again and eventually you'll miss the home run and you'll be back to where you started. That is not a sustainable and it's not a pragmatic way of investing. Now, let's look at some interesting other signs as well. If we look at the futures market, we can see Dow futures are flat. We can see S&P up 3.7 and the Nasdaq futures up a percent after a strong Friday as well. So are we starting to get clues that, yes, the market is getting used to things? Well, this particular indicator has flashed up something really interesting because the fear and greed index came up to 33. Now, yesterday was extreme fear at 20. Now we're just at fear, which is 33. Interesting, right? I'll show you what's interesting. This is what's really interesting. Let's pull up the one year chart of fear and greed index. And you will see that the last time we were as high as we are now, OK, dates back to the 28th of December when we were at 41. After that, you saw, saw that fear and greed index really did fall. What's interesting about the 28th? Let's go to Bitcoin and let's go on to the daily. And let's just tidy this up. Right. So let's go here and you can see that on the 28th is exactly this massive candle here you see that candle here this candle had a high an open of 50,720 and it closed at 47,543 this was the start of the massive fall and the breakdown towards 32 this is when fear really started to get into the market and could this be the clue now that as we see fear and greed start fear start to lessen and greed start to kick in as we're sitting at as we're sitting here at 33 is that the clue that now we can start to get back to levels where that fear was 41, which was back on the 20th of December when we were sat at 50,000? So interesting sign there for us and just gives us a little bit more confidence in the market that when we see a couple of good green days here on Bitcoin, and even if we have a couple of consolidation days, as long as we don't fall back and give up what we just achieved on Friday, then this could be the start of us recovering back to 50, working towards this important green box here, which no doubt will cover as and when Bitcoin recovers between 56 and 61. Very important resistance level, which we need to turn into support. Then we can think about 64,000, 69,000 all time high and then beyond on Bitcoin. Right. And when that happens, you guys need to make sure you're positioned in your favorite altcoins, right? Because we know, well, I've got conviction here in Phantom that Phantom is just ready to explode. If we zoom out here on the weekly chart and you look at this setup, guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful chart pattern setup here. You can see, um, you saw the initial climb we had, retracement, consolidation, climb, retracement, climb again without a massive consolidation, big consolidation, big move, big consolidation, and now we're ready for a big move up here on Phantom. So the weekly is setting up beautifully, and all this whole drama, as far as Phantom is concerned, has just been a retest of the weekly EMA ribbon. And not many coins can say that right now, okay? Because Phantom did not even penetrate through its second or third EMA here on the ribbon. This was just a normal retracement. And that is why when I say, don't be surprised if you see Phantom taking a little bit longer to move to the upside because a lot of other deals are super cheap right now you've got a lot of coins which are still including bitcoin below its weekly ema ribbon and people will want to be buying the dips on those projects because they, they are undervalued as well okay so phantom has held up pretty well and that's its own enemy right now because people are looking at other coins and saying ah they've retraced a bit more but definitely can see a perfect setup here you can see the opening of this weekly candle looking nice and green if bitcoin can continue to remain green and head to the upside phantom is perfectly set up to roar back to all-time highs and really break through this i mean you guys know my my fibonacci target is sitting all the way up here at about the $44.33 mark, just from swing low to swing high. So definitely expect us to, to blast through there and just fundamentally much more than that, right? That's just my technical target. But if you've not watched my video, which is labeled most important phantom video you watch in 2021, make sure you go and watch that video, guys. I really do take the time to explain from a mathematical approach, looking at the total value locked and modeling that out, how undervalued phantom is compared to other products. And so make sure you take out the time to watch that video. If you've not watched my video explaining the phantom tokenomics, check that video out as well. Really important video for you to watch. As always, guys, hope you enjoyed your blend between technical and fundamental analysis here on phantom. If you appreciate these types of updates on a weekend regardless of where i am bringing you these chart patterns and updates so you're informed all the time smash up the like button subscribe 
And also head into the Discord. Link will be in the pinned comment below. That is our link to our free public Discord server. And in there, you can meet like-minded people. You can talk about crypto. You can tag me in any questions. You can vote on which coins you want me to cover on this channel because we're not just going to cover Phantom. We want to cover a bunch of different coins. So make sure you jump into that community and be part of the community because that is the way you're going to learn. That's the way you can have your finger on the pulse and know what's going on in the crypto space. Okay, as always, guys, check out the link in the description is the link to NordVPN. They're offering 70% off a 24 month plan. Make sure you're set up in crypto, guys. Stay safe in crypto. Cannot stress that enough. I've heard so many friends and close ones who have lost in crypto because they're new, because they don't know what they're doing, and they just get caught out due to inexperience, right? So make sure you got yourself set up on a VPN. Make sure you're not traceable. Make sure you are anonymous when on your exchanges and when trading or playing around with your wallets. Super important that you do that. I don't want to hear any more stories of people getting caught out due to basic setups like a VPN. So make sure you got that set up, guys. As always, Appreciate you guys tuning in to watch this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.